Phillips from 365 Kona and Big Island Real Estate Minute. So today I'm with Delania Branham from Island Home Realty and today we're going to be talking about sewer, septic and cesspools. So um, one of the things that coming from, like me personally, coming from California, we don't think about, you know, where our poop goes. But here on the island, there's a lot of different things that happen here. So I'm asking Delania, because she's been in real estate for eight years and she knows this island really well about what's going on here with the, uh, the wastewater. Um, a little bit more about those three things. So, Delaney? So, a lot of places in the mainland, everyone's connected to the sewer line. Um, we do have some connection here in Hawaii, in the Big Island, but it's limited. There are just a few neighborhoods and a few condos that are attached to the sewer system. Most everyone else is either in septic or cesspool. For a very long time, everybody, it was just cesspool, which is basically a hole in the ground. Um, we're on a, a lava rock island, so everything's very porous, so everything dissipates and works down. You never have to empty it or treat it or anything. It just goes away, which well, works okay, for so, a very long time. Yeah, well, as you can see behind us, however, that it goes into the ground and, and, then, and then seeps through yeah. right out to the ocean. And that was great when maybe 5,000 people were doing exactly. that. And exactly. so um, she's going to tell you about that, but we're also going to talk about why that's not going to keep going on forever, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, so... I can't remember exactly how long ago, but several years ago, I would say probably at least 10 years ago, they mandated that all new construction had to have septic and remodeling. So if you're adding a room onto your house, be prepared to add a septic system in if you are on cesspool, um, which could be upwards of $10,000 or more, depending on the size. Um, all new construction has to have septic. A few years ago, they tried to legislate and require every owner at the point of sale to switch their cesspool to a septic which is great for the environment. The EPA is very heavily involved in this. Um, but they were never able to complete the legislation because it's, we sometimes we have very small lots, sometimes the cesspools, nobody knows where they are. Oftentimes the ability to get into a property and switch it out is challenging. Also the cost, is it the buyer's responsibility or the seller's responsibility? And how does that affect your loan? So there were just really too many factors at that point in time to make it a mandatory thing. We do feel like at some point um, the cesspools are going to have to switch over to septic, especially the closer you are to the ocean, because mm -hmm. um, that's the concern really is our waterways, ocean and streams that, um, you know, the leaching that's happening now that we've got so much growth in the island. So it's coming. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like. So when buyers are looking at property, if they have a cesspool, they need to be aware of that. Point, at some point, you, you may be required, out. and you know what the cost will be. Um, there's been talk of government grants to offset that. Um, so it's kind of a gray area right now, but it's something definitely to be aware of. So ideally, if you find a property that has septic, you're good to you're go. good to go. Yeah. Okay, and then, cool, and then um, with the septic and cesspool, yeah, um, that's in the MLS to tell yes. you what that property is if it's cesspool or septic, right? Yep. And then also somebody was asking me about Ocean View Estates. I don't think that they have a wastewater treatment plant down there, right? So everything in Ocean View Estates is going to be... No, there are some. Actually, down south there are... Well, they're not on sewer. But not on sewer. Septic, based on when they were built right. or when they were retrofitted. Um, you find a lot of properties in septic down south. Island-wide, you can find properties that are either cesspool or septic. Um, it just really depends on when the property was built and when they made it. So cool. Okay. All you wanted to know about septic. <laughs> Hello 365 Kona peeps and others interested in learning about buying and investing in real estate on the Big Island. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. We will continue to add videos of topics you are interested in. If you want to be notified of new topics, please subscribe below by clicking the subscribe button or browse other videos featured below. Mahalo for watching the Big Island Real Estate Minute. Aloha.